round of applause to the lovely newlyweds. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Anne. I'm the matron of honor and one of the bride's best friends. And I want to start off by saying that every once in a while, two people meet and you know it's meant to be. You know instantly that the stars have aligned and their paths would bring them together regardless of what the world may throw their way. This was clearly the case almost eight years ago when I first met Dana. <laughs> Dana, it's an amazing name. The meaning is both intelligent and beautiful. I am sure everyone in this room will agree with the meaning of this name because the gorgeous bride, Dana Marr, is exactly those two things. I have never met a more beautiful person, both inside and out, with a heart filled with nothing but love and passion. This wonderful woman has proven to be nothing short of an amazing daughter, cousin, sister, friend, fiance, aunt, godmother, and I am sure she will now be an amazing wife to Michael. During these eight years, I have learned quite a few things about her. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Number one is she absolutely loves her sushi. She's my sushi partner in crime, and Mike definitely earned brownie points with her for having the same love. Dana has a fond love of anime, as does Mike. I remember walking into her college dorm apartment and seeing tea sets, anime, and magnets all over the room. And the first thing I thought to myself was, oh, thank God I'm not the only one. <laughs> I also noticed the sake set, which we have used in the past, and Dana loves her sake, sometimes even with cola. It's an inside joke. <laughs> I have also learned that Dana has a hobby that she shares with Mike, and you can probably guess it by the theme of this wedding. They have been playing video games together for the past eight years, and Dana still kicks Mike's butt in natural selection. <laughs> and, now they have, and now they have both unlocked a new achievement by getting married. <laughs> over the years when I first met Dana, it truly amazes me that something so minor, such as a simple invitation to go to the Palisades, would end up in this amazing friendship. Dana and I may not have been childhood friends. We never played dress up or imagine what our weddings would be like as little girls. We didn't go to school together or braid each other's hair. But none of that matters because I feel like I have known you my entire life. We know more about each other than we probably care to, and that's why you have to be my best friend for the rest of our lives. <laughs> I want you to know that I wrote a speech today for over, for today, about 50 times over. I couldn't think of anything perfect enough to describe just how much I love you. There are no words big enough to define the kind of friend that you are to me, and I certainly had no idea how to summarize everything I wanted to on paper. But here we go. You are the best friend a girl could ever ask for. You have always been there for everybody. I will always be there for you. I know God crossed our paths for a reason, and I will forever be grateful. I don't know where I would be without you, but I do know one thing here, standing here today. It's exactly where I'm supposed to be. Mike, just like Sean said, I remember the day you met Dana. You came over to the house. You were talking about her, and Cracker Barrel almost sued you because you had such a cheesy grin on your face. <laughs> <laughs> As her husband, I understand that you are her very best friend, and I am willing to pass that torch because I know you make her happy. And I know that she loves you more than words can describe. And I also know that I will never have to worry about you taking my place as her sake partner. <laughs> I want to offer some friendly advice to the newlyweds. When you get into a fight, always remember the wife is right. And in the rare, <laughs> and in the rare occasion she is wrong, she's still right. A happy wife makes a happy life, just kidding. But seriously, the wife is always right. <laughs> in closing, I would just like to thank every single one of you for coming out to celebrate my best friend's wedding. There are two very important people who can't be here today, but they are most definitely here in spirit and I'm sure they're looking down overwhelmed with joy. I wish you both nothing but happiness on your journey together as husband and wife. I know it will be quite an adventure at the start of the rest of your lives together, but remember, take it slow and try to level up safely. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if everybody can join me in raising a glass and congratulating the very beautiful bride and groom on the day we have all been waiting for.
Congratulations. And we just left to the table, ladies and gentlemen. How about one more time, a round of applause for our toasters and our bride and groom, ladies and gentlemen. At this time, the first course is coming out shortly here at the Meadowbrook Live. Enjoy.